Hey, what's up? We need to talk about Ben Shapiro today. Ah yes, Ben Shapiro, the king of logic and facts and no feelings at all. <laughs> Unfortunately, we all probably know his sister. You know, the one that we keep seeing ads for on our channels. Yeah, so his sister's channel is called Classically Abby, and he should have named his channel Shittily Ben because he's full of shit. Which, you know, hypothetically, biologically speaking from a logical point of view, he is full of shit. You know, if you're looking at it from a biological point of view, um, we're all full of shit. That was my impression of Ben Shapiro. Please rate me out of 10. I think it was a seven. So if you guys don't know who Ben Shapiro is, he is a little soft baby trans boy. Ooh woo, I'm just joking. Um, but he is little and short, <laughs> like me. Except I have an excuse and you don't. Ben. Facts don't care about your feelings. I have an excuse, you don't. Ben Shapiro is an American conservative political commentator, media host, and attorney. But now that I think of it, I would probably hire him as an attorney because he speaks so fast. And you know, attorneys go by like hourly pay, right? So you wouldn't really have to pay much with him because he talks so fast. It's like lightning. Anyways, after watching handfuls of this man speaking, he has a problem with every community ever to exist. He has an opinion on everything. You know, I know him more specifically for his transgender rants. He's been ranting about trans people for like five years, like a very long time, maybe longer than that, actually. And I actually do have some tweets that I wanna show you. Ben said, if you whip out your female next to my small daughter in a ladies room, I don't care what you think you are. So right here, we actually have a very intelligent tweet because like I always say, when a trans person enters the restroom, we actually get completely naked. We just like to rip off our pants completely. You know, that is, our, that is the number one thing we do in public restrooms. So that's a very good point that he did make. And that leads us into our next tweet where he says, ladies, if he doesn't have a doesn't have a Y chromosome, doesn't have a functioning SRY gene, doesn't have a biological intersex disorder. He's not your man. He's not a he. I mean, I do have a functioning sorry gene. I apologize anytime I do something wrong. So like I said, Ben has a history of disrespecting trans people. For example, this woman was talking about, you know, how hard it was to come out as trans and to be a trans woman. And Ben Shapiro was there and he said this. Yes. Why are we mainstreaming delusion? Uh, it's not delusion. Why, why would delusion. you call it delusion? Because Bruce, Caitlyn Jenner, I'll call him Caitlyn Jenner. No, because it's that's her. It... You're not being polite to the pronoun. You can see that little eye roll. <sighs> oh my God, I'll just, I'll call Caitlyn Jenner her. Because Disrespect. It, okay, forget about the disrespect. Facts don't care about your feelings. Ooh, burn. Facts don't care about your feelings. You know what doesn't care about your feelings, Ben? Is the testosterone in your body. Because it's not producing enough. Your voice is still really high. So who's really winning here? Is it me or is it you? So then they keep arguing and then this happens. So you don't know what you're talking about. You're not educated on genetics. Would you to discuss the genetics or well, no? Well, no, what no. are your genetics, sir? I, I, so I'd stay away from the genetics and back to the brain scans. You cut that out now or you'll go home in an ambulance. Yeah, that seems mildly inappropriate for a political discussion. You know what else is mildly inappropriate for the political discussion is his tie because his tie to me it's speaking to me. It says trans rights. Are you seeing those colors? Blue, pink, and white. That says trans rights to me. Have you guys seen him laughing for comedic effect? It's actually pretty disturbing. <laughs> I feel like that's what all of his followers do after he says facts over feelings. Forget about the disrespect. Facts don't care about your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I think we should all log off right now. You could just end the video, like fuck it. Yeah, so that leads me into my next point. Have you guys heard the song WAP? It's a song written by women and it's about sex. And it made a lot of people mad, actually. A lot of people were really, really mad over it and Ben Shapiro was one of them, but that's a shocker. And he actually read the lyrics to the song, which I thought was really funny. Yeah, you effin' with some wet ass P word. P word is female genitalia. It's not demeaning to women in any way. It doesn't turn women into sex objects. It doesn't make men think of women in a, in a purely sexual fashion. It, it, it is women empowering themselves. It is super empowerment. Like if the song bothers you that much, are you a virgin? Are you mad that you can't have a WAP? I think he's mad because there's no WAP. There's no WAP for him. It's SDP, Sahara Desert, P word. Talk your S word, bite your lip. Ask for a call while you ride that D word. This is like how Ben Shapiro would send a dirty text message. Do you like my D word? Let's F word with your P word. Uh, it, it's not really about, you know, women being treated as independent, full 
rounded human beings. It's about wet ass P word. It's literally just a rap song and I'm pretty sure it was made to break the internet, you know, for people like you to get mad over it. And you fell for the bait, man. Damn, are you that stupid? You went to Harvard and you fell for that shit? Shaking my head. But I, I will admit that when I first saw the lyrics to this song, my first concern as a sympathetic and empathetic human being. A sympathetic and empathetic human being? Are you on fucking drugs? My first concern is that these women are describing a serious gynecological condition. And like, I, I'm serious, that these women are suffering from some sort of serious, I mean, a bucket and a mop? This sounds like there, there's, some, there's something that is going on here that is not biologically normal. You know, he's going for the satire and it's just not good satire. You know what? Come talk to the king. You know, Ben, just because you've never seen it doesn't mean that it's a biological condition. Some people do actually need a mop and a broom for, or a bucket, sorry. You wouldn't need a, you wouldn't need a broom. Doesn't make any sense. Just to touch on the transgender subject a little bit more, he put out a video two weeks ago called An Honest Conversation on Gender with Dr. Debra So, you know, where they discuss like transgender people. And the things that he said were pretty interesting. So let me just show you. CNN the other day headlined that individuals with the cervix should make sure that they are cervically screened for, for cervical cancer. Uh, I, I have no idea what an individual with a cervix is other than a woman. Uh, I don't know what a individual is with a cervix other than a woman. I've actually never even touched a woman. You know, I don't even know. I've never seen her cervix. I can't believe this guy is mad that CNN put something out and said individuals with a cervix. And he's, he's genuinely angered about that. Like, I could give two fucks. First of all, let's define gender and then let's discuss what in gender is in fact a social construct and what is not. Because the, the idea that masculinity and femininity are completely separable from biological sex is not supported by the science. Oh, what does that even mean? Masculine and feminine roles have been set by society. Like you don't just pop out a baby boy and he comes out like, yeah, I'm gonna do carpentry and I'm gonna put things together and I'm gonna be the man of the house. That was socially constructed. Like baby boys don't come out with that instinct. Same with baby girls. Some men are very feminine some women are very masculine. You don't just, you're not just born with masculinity or femininity. So when it comes to transgenderism, which apparently has become the, the real hot button here, if you say that- Yes, transgenderism, the new religion of our people. Sam Collins is the god of the religion. Welcome. Everyone is welcome here. If you say that men exist and women exist and a man cannot become a woman, nor can a woman become a man biologically, this is unsayable. If you say this sort of thing, then you put yourself in danger of being actually banned from, from Twitter. Yeah, because you're actually not banned from Twitter because you say it all the time. So no, you, you won't get banned for saying that. When you start bullying people though, you probably could get banned, you know, because bullying is not nice. So can in fact a man become a woman or a woman become a man, biologically speaking? Me personally, I have no issue referring to trans people using the pronouns they want. I will, if a trans woman would like me to consider her to be female, I will. But that is within the caveat of there are differences between someone who was born female and someone who is a transgender woman. That answer made me laugh because I felt like she was kind of saying, I don't really understand what the big deal is with saying he or she or they. Anyway, so they go on more to talk about her book and just go back and forth a little bit. But I scroll down to the comment section and we do have some comedians in the comments section. You know, we've got logical science over here. And he said, if I had a dollar for every gender, I would have two bucks and a bunch of counterfeits. Oh my God. That is the most clever joke I've ever heard. I bet he came up with that one himself for sure. I was once a man trapped in a woman's body. Then I was born. Wow. This is such a good joke. This is like potential stand up comedy material. Like he should definitely go for it. He should definitely get on stage and deliver that joke. It would make the whole audience laugh because it's so original. And the last comment I have for you before I do leave is from David. And he said, if I had a sandwich for every gender, I'd have four slices of bread. You know, like I said, these guys are just too good because you don't make a sandwich with only two slices of bread. Yeah, that makes, that makes a lot of sense. And that fortunately brings us to the end of the video. I know, hallelujah. No more Ben Shapiro. But hey, if you guys did like this video, let me know in the comments. And I could definitely do another video like this for you guys. So just let me know, okay? All right, have a great day. Bye.